Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dauntless and the Fearless Slayer's Guide, in this case, to the Axe. Yes, today we're going to be taking a look at the Axe. Now, the Axe is one of the power weapons in Dauntless. Last time we covered the Sword, which as I said is a ba good balance between speed, power, and range. But the Axe trades off a large amount of its speed for a slightly better increase in range over the sword, not counting the sword beam that you can do at full ether charge, and a massive boost to its power. Now, just like the sword, the axe combos are very simple. Well, in fact, they're probably a bit simpler than the sword because there's not as many combos you can do. But that's because, and that comes down to the fact that axe combos have a maximum of four hits. I'll show you a little bit more once we get into a hunt. It's also limited to a single Aether attack. You only have one, but I'll talk about it in just a second. And one thing about it, one thing that's a little different about the Axe is that you have the ability to charge up parts of your combo to do higher damage. Let's go ahead and find a hunt, then I'll talk more about this as we go. Now the charging mechanic, I'm gonna go ahead and, no, again, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna go create a hunt. We're gonna fight a Rogue Nasher for this because it's just easier. Okay, so private. Now, one thing about the charging mechanic is that, and I'll demonstrate this fully once we're in, is you can only apply it to certain attacks in the combo. Now, specifically, you can only be applied to the odd numbered attacks, so your first attack and your third attack. I don't really need to check my loadout, I know what I'm doing. Now, unlike other weapons in Dauntless here, the axe doesn't really have light and heavy. Instead, it's got vertical and horizontal attacks. Now, the vertical attacks do a slightly, slightly more damage, but the horizontal attacks are going to be easier to hit with because of the sweeping nature of them. I'll show you guys the combos once we're in, because it's a rogue nasher. I and I've got the, I've got mo, I've got like 98% of this thing's attacks figured out, and that's up to tier three. Now another difference that's related to the charging mechanic as well, and I'll show you this once again once we're fully in and I can actually swing my weapon, is that when you're charging a vertical attack, you are rooted to the spot. If you're charging a horizontal attack, you can still move, just not very fast. Alright, let's go ahead and draw my axe so I can show you guys. First off, let's take a look. You have two main combos, vertical ripper and horizontal edge. Vertical ripper is just a two hit combo, maxed out. Horizontal edge is where you have the four hit combo. Now the charging attacks. The first one, this is the vertical charge. You'll notice there you have three levels of charge. That hits like a bus. This is the horizontal charge and as you can see I can still move. Now the way to get a full four hit combo on the vertical attack is what you do. Oh, hold on. What is with the frame rate right now? Sorry, I need to... Let's make this go full screen as well. That is not any better. What the hell? Right, I'm just going to knock everything down to low. So you're not going to... The quality on this is not going to be super great at the moment, but... There we go. It's a, that's only slightly better. Great. Knock the resolution scale down a little. There we go. Now, as I was saying, to get to the full four hit combo on the vertical attack, you have one, two, and then you go into horizontals. That last one doesn't. It's technically a horizontal, but. Now watch, you can also charge here, and I'm trying to move but I can't. And then you can go into with this, and you can even charge, there's your third hit, and the fourth hit. Which actually sounds like it's got a charge to it. Now your rolling attacks, 
Oop, that was if I actually roll. You dodge. There's your vertical vertical roll. And that's your horizontal roll. So you have the same attack on rolling. Now I can't show you the ether attack just yet, but luckily, once we find the behemoth, I'll be able to. And a rogue nasher again, not a huge threat. Mostly because at this point my armor is just too thick. See you guys in just a sec once I've found the Nasher. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Because there's my there's my target. Now, one thing about the ether in the because the ether is the big thing I still need to talk about with the axe. One thing about the ether is that you'll notice, unlike the sword which had five boxes, the ether on the axe has one long bar. That is one big difference. The other big difference is that the ether on this doesn't if I if I'm remembering correctly, the ether on the axe does not charge up on on basic attacks. You have to hit with a charge attack to char to gain ether charge with the axe. Just to, just to make sure I'm telling the right thing. Yeah, I got. It. So instead, what you gotta do is you gotta. You have to hit with the you have to hit with a with the full with a charge to build up your ether. I'm gonna go ahead and use a stamina potion here. Now the reason the ether is big on the axe is because you'll again you'll remember that the axe has one ether ability. And that, in a way, that's that's only actually, but in a way, that's only half true. Because the ether ability for the axe actually kind of has two different sides to it. The first one is what you're seeing right now, where I build up the charge. Once that bar fills up, it'll turn white, and I'll be able to use my ability. Actually, you might. Actually... Yeah, I'm taking a lot more hits than I should, but. Mostly because I'm just kind of screwing around here. There you go! I now have a white bar. Now, watch the bar carefully if I hit this, because there's. There's the. That's the only attack you get. You see it hits for 920 at this point. This is a fully upgraded basic starting axe. You'll notice that it ha my bar now has a white outline. What, what that means is that I hit with the first the first tier of attack. There or the first one of the first one of those. That bar is a damage buff. And that damage buff, it, as you'll see, it's kind of fading. It goes away over time. But what it can do as well, it has three stages. And I'm going to try and show you that. Three stages you'll see are the white, kind of a yellow-orange, and then there's a red. Let's see if I can get it. There, that's the yellowy orange. My damage buff is now actually increased. At red, you'll hit for a ton of damage. I mean, that right there was a kind of a critical hit for almost 1400 damage. This is a basic this is a basic weapon. Now, unfortunately, if you lose the if the outline goes away, fully fades, then you'll lose the full damage buff, and you'll have to restart from the white.
Now, you might have also noticed that I'm running out of stamina a lot. Some of that comes down to the fact that the horizontal allowing you to move... Oh, actually, that... Hold on, I'll take a break from that. Because what you just saw there, that miss, you'll notice I still have about half of my bo half of my ether charge. If you miss with the with the big swing, which is actually called Great Axe Special, probably just a, that's probably a placeholder name. If you hit with that. Or if you miss with it, it does give you back half your bar. Roughly. But the axe only uses stamina if you use a charge attack. Now, I don't think it uses stamina. I'm pretty sure it doesn't use stamina if you hit with a, uh, with a super attack. Nope. Nope, it doesn't. But like I, like I was saying, so the axe is all about hitting super hard. Remember though, the big thing you gotta worry about is you gotta hit with the charged attacks to build up your ether. And then the ether, you need to hit with the attack to actually get the damage buff. And once you hit the red, you are, the e you are easily the biggest DPS or the biggest damage per hit, I should say, not damage per second. You're the biggest damage per hit on your team at that point. Or you probably should be. Because the axe is an amazingly powerful weapon. It's not my favorite of the, f of the five. We'll be covering that in a couple of weeks. But that's just a quick little primer on the axe, folks. If you enjoyed, please shoot for a like or favorite the video. You can also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say. If you want to keep up with me, never miss any of my current series, please feel free to subscribe. That does help me out, and I do I do appreciate it. I appreciate all my subscribers. And also, if you guys leave comments, I do read them, for the record. Well, folks, as for that, I have been D. And this has been the Fearless Slayer's Guide to the axe. Good night and good gaming.